As Apple pushes the boundaries of mobile performance with the upcoming A19 Pro chip, one major challenge remains heat. Packing such immense power into a slim iPhone means dissipating heat efficiently is more crucial than ever. But now, an exciting new leak suggests Apple has a game-changing solution. According to trusted insider Insta Digital, the iPhone 17 Pro and iPhone 17 Pro Max will feature advanced vapor chamber cooling to keep temperatures in check and prevent performance throttling. The anticipation for the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max is already sky high, and this new detail adds even more intrigue. While the A19 Pro is set to deliver groundbreaking speed and efficiency, Overheating could still be a limiting factor, unless Apple finds a way to keep things cool. For years, rumors have swirled about Apple adopting vapor chamber cooling, a technology long seen in top-tier Android flagships like the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Now, Instant Digital confidently claims that Apple is finally making the leap, ensuring its Pro models can sustain peak performance under heavy workloads. However, there's a catch. If you're eyeing the more affordable iPhone 17 or iPhone 17 Air, you might be out of luck. According to Instant Digital's Weibo post, Vapor chamber cooling is exclusive to the Pro models, while standard versions will continue to rely on traditional heatsink materials. While adequate for everyday tasks, this method may struggle under the intense demands of hardcore gaming or high-resolution video editing, something power users won't take lightly. So what makes vapor chamber cooling such a big deal? This cutting-edge system uses a liquid-filled copper pipe positioned above the processor. As the processor heats up, the liquid transforms into vapor, spreading heat away from the chip. Once it cools down, it condenses back into liquid, creating a continuous cycle of heat dissipation. Android manufacturers, especially Samsung, have been refining this approach for years. The Galaxy S25 Ultra even expanded its cooling chamber to prevent the mighty Snapdragon 8 Elite from throttling under pressure. With the A19 Pro chip set to push performance further than ever, the stakes are high. While Apple's improvements might not be a generational leap, vapor chamber cooling could be the key to unlocking its true power, especially for mobile gamers. Today's triple of titles demand console-quality visuals, pushing smartphones to their limits. While accessories like GameSer's fan-cooled controllers offer temporary fixes, a built-in vapor chamber is a far more sophisticated and effective solution. For power users, pro-level gamers, and creators who push their devices to the max, this upgrade could be a game changer. Apple is no stranger to innovation, and if these leaks are accurate, the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max might just redefine how iPhones handle extreme performance. The iPhone 17 lineup is shaping up to be one of the most exciting and possibly controversial releases in years. At the center of the buzz is the long-rumored iPhone 17 Air, a device that's expected to be shockingly thin, alongside a potentially divisive redesign that could shake up Apple's aesthetic. Today, two major leaks have surfaced, revealing potential dimensions for both the iPhone 17 Pro Max and the Ultra Slim 17 Air. These leaks also provide a glimpse at dummy models for the lineup, though the Pro and Plus models remain a mystery for now. New leaks, the thinnest iPhone ever, respected tipster Ice Universe took to X to share a striking claim. The iPhone 17 Pro Max will retain the exact same dimensions as the iPhone 16 Pro Max, while the iPhone 17 Air will match in size, but with an astonishingly thin profile. The length, width, screen size, and bezel, same as iPhone 16 Pro Max of the iPhone 17 Air and iPhone 17 Pro Max are exactly the same. Only the thickness is different. The iPhone 17 Air is 5.5 millimeters thick and the iPhone 17 Pro Max is 8.725 millimeters thick, Ice Universe revealed. To put that into perspective, the iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 8.25 millimeters thick, meaning the 17 Air is an incredible 2.75 millimeters thinner, a dramatic shift that could redefine how slim a flagship smartphone can be. Meanwhile, the Pro Max is slightly thicker, possibly due to a redesigned camera system or a larger battery. More evidence surfaces, adding fuel to the fire, tips or imagine Boo collaborated with YouTuber iDevice helped to further solidify these claims. Their latest video showcases dummy models of the iPhone 17, 17 Air, and 17 Pro Max, allegedly based on internal Apple documents. While still a rumor, these models offer our first visual representation of what to expect. One major design shift, a redesigned camera array, particularly on the Pro and 17 Air models which now sport a Google Pixel-esque look. Meanwhile, the standard iPhone 17 still resembles its predecessor, the iPhone 16. Side by side, the Air does indeed appear to match the Pro Max in overall footprint, but with a radically thinner body and fewer cameras. What this means for the iPhone 17 lineup reports suggest that the iPhone 17 Air will replace the Plus model, marking a bold shift in Apple's strategy. While the current Plus model is slightly smaller than the Pro Max, the Air's increase in size may be a deliberate move to accommodate internal components that were too cramped in the smaller Plus frame. Apple is expected to unveil the full lineup in September, and if these leaks hold true, the iPhone 17 Air could be a game changer, possibly the thinnest iPhone ever made.
Will this ultra-slim design be a dream come true or a trade-off for battery life and durability? We'll find out soon. Lately, it feels like every single day brings a fresh wave of leaks about the highly anticipated iPhone 17, 17 Air, and 17 Pro Max. The excitement is real and for good reason. Most of these leaks revolve around detailed CAD drawings that have surfaced in large numbers. If history has taught us anything, it's that when leaks like these start aligning around this time of year, they often end up being spot on. Just last year, CAD drawings of the iPhone 16 Pro leaked around the same period, and six months later, they turned out to be 100% accurate. That's why these revelations demand our full attention, especially the latest one, which comes from none other than the well-known leaker Majin Buu 1X. So what do these new schematics reveal? Well, Apple seems to be tweaking the design of the bottom speakers on the iPhone 17 Air and 17 Pro Max. However, there's a catch. The schematics only show the number of speaker holes, not whether they actually house functional speakers. Apple has a history of prioritizing symmetrical aesthetics, and in previous models, some of those speaker holes were purely for design balance rather than sound output. Now let's talk specifics. This year, the iPhone 17 Pro is expected to feature four speaker holes on both sides of the charging port, while the larger iPhone 17 Pro Max takes it a step further with sticks on each side. Meanwhile, the iPhone 17 Air takes a surprising turn, sporting only two speaker holes on each side. And those extra holes right next to the charging port? Don't be fooled, those are simply screw holes, not additional speakers. Could this mean a major upgrade to the iPhone's audio system, at least for the Pro models? It certainly seems possible. Apple might be working on a more powerful speaker setup to enhance the sound experience. But with limited space inside the phone's body, it'll be fascinating to see what design compromises they make to bring this vision to life. One thing's for sure, the iPhone 17 lineup is shaping up to be one of the most intriguing yet. With Apple's highly anticipated iPhone 17 lineup set to be unveiled this September, leaks have been flooding in and they're painting an exhilarating picture of what's to come. A well-known leaker has now showcased four brand new CAD models, offering the clearest glimpse yet into Apple's bold vision for its next-generation iPhones. This time, the lineup isn't just about incremental upgrades, it's rumored to feature an entirely new approach, with four distinct models. The standard iPhone 17, the ultra-thin iPhone 17 Air, the powerful iPhone 17 Pro, and the feature-packed iPhone 17 Pro Max. And if these leaks are to be believed, surprises are definitely in store. When the first CAD leaks for the iPhone 17 series began surfacing, many were skeptical. But as more and more sources aligned, it became clear. Apple might be shaking things up in ways we haven't seen in years. In recent weeks, nearly every major Apple insider has released renders hinting at an unprecedented design shift, making the upcoming iPhone some of the most unique we've ever seen. Just a week ago, we caught our first glimpse of the iPhone 17 lineup's redesigned backs, followed by reveal videos for the iPhone 17 Air and Pro, courtesy of John Prosser. Since then, even more thrilling rumors have surfaced. Apple is reportedly pushing video quality to new heights, particularly on the Pro models, while surprisingly ditching titanium for their chassis. Meanwhile, industry insider Sonny Dixon has contributed to the growing excitement, revealing four CAD renders that, for the first time, show us the front of these devices. Is this the final iPhone 17 design? With each passing leak, confidence is growing that the images floating around might actually represent the final design of Apple's next iPhones. While the base iPhone 17 is expected to resemble its predecessor, the real excitement begins with the iPhone 17 Air. Set to replace the iPhone 16 Plus, this model is rumored to be astonishingly thin, featuring a brand new camera bar design and sacrificing a second rear camera for a sleeker, more futuristic look. Meanwhile, the 17 Pro and Pro Max models are expected to boast towering camera modules spanning nearly the entire width of the phone, with beveled edges, an LED flash, and an autofocus sensor neatly positioned on the right. iPhone 17 Pro Max what to expect. Launch timeline. Apple is expected to officially unveil the iPhone 17 Pro Max alongside the rest of the iPhone 17 series in the second week of September.